I'm going to Thailand for one month tomorrow. Air has sent me some of their epic carry gear and I'm going to show you how I pack. Hi, I'm Kate from Rush Faster. On Rush Faster, we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. If that sounds like something you want to see more of, make sure you like, subscribe and hit the bell and sign up to our newsletter. This is the Air Travel Pack 3 in olive and this is the Air Dot Kit 2 in black and if you want to see run throughs of these or any other other air products make sure to check the description because all of our run through videos will be linked below. So this bad boy here is the Travel Pack 3 as I mentioned and it's a 35 litre carry on travel backpack which is super capable it honestly has endless pockets which I will show you when we get into the packing. It's made from really high quality sustainable materials and honestly it just looks looks amazing. And this right here is the Air Dot Kit 2. It is a 2.6 litre toiletry case and honestly the organisation in this is better than anything else I've ever tried. So I used to be a chronic overpacker but then I realised there is definitely an easier way to carry your gear and that is what I'm here to show you today. So I'm going to Thailand for one month and I easily could pack a carry-on only for this kind of trip. The top two tips that I have for packing carry-on only is making sure you have a bag that carries the way you do and has everything that you personally need when you pack and then also making sure you're prepared and have a packing list. So when I create my packing list for a trip I always think of five main categories. We've got essentials, clothing and accessories, technology, toiletries and makeup and then first aid and other. And I always start out with clothing because it's probably going to take up the most room in your bag. Another reason this bag is so great is because it opens up full clamshell style like this and it means that when you get to your destination, when you get to your accommodation, it's super easy to find something and you're not going to be rummaging through like from the top. So when deciding on a carry-on backpack as well, I personally prefer the large bucket ones because I just feel like there's more space, but you can get ones that also open like two sides of a suitcase. So the easiest thing I like to get out of the way when it comes to clothing is your plane outfit because you just want to wear the bulkiest items on the plane, but also keep comfortable. So I've got this great cute little set here. It's a shorts and t-shirt. So I'm going to be wearing that on the plane. Then I will also be wearing my denim jacket on the plane as well. This is also great for some cooler evenings, you know, when you're out and about. And just because it is super cold in the UK right now, and I will be freezing if I don't wear anything else, I'll be wearing my ultralight down vest from Uniqlo. And this is my favorite thing to layer under a lighter jacket like this just to give you some extra warmth. So none of this will need to be packed in the backpack, so I know I've got that sorted. So this is where I'll be packing majority of my clothes. This is the Peak Design Large Packing Cube, and I love it because it's expandable and compressible, and it also has a compartment at the back for any dirty laundry. So starting from the tops, I've got five little crop tops here. This is personally what I like to wear when I'm in a hot country. Wear whatever makes you feel comfortable. Then I've also got this orange shirt, which is actually part of a set, but I just thought it would be a great layering piece, you know, maybe for the beach, the pool, just to throw on over something else. Then I also love to support little local traders and maybe get a couple of small tops as well when I'm out there. So I am saving a little bit of room for that. Then for bottoms, I got three pairs of shorts here. This is the one that matches with that orange shirt. And then I've also got a little skirt here. And I like to bring multiple shorts just because they're the most comfortable thing to wear in hot weather for me. And then I do have one longer pair of linen type pants which I wanted to bring just in case we go for like a nice dinner I will be there over Christmas and New Year's and the last one I'm, I'm bringing is this long white linen style skirt as well again similar reasons going for nice dinners or just to throw over at the beach as well I am bringing this one dress that is a, just a nice black summery dress um usually i would bring two dresses actually but because i've got the long skirt i'm sacrificing one dress and lastly for clothing i always bring just a lightweight summer pair of pajamas so as you can see some of my stuff is already nice and rolled quite small so got my packing cube here really just want to try and roll everything as tightly as possible like so Right, okay, so that is the key to packing light as well, rolling everything nice and small instead of folding it. There are a couple of items that I would say that you should kind of fold or lay flat, which will be like that skirt that's a little bit puffier, but if you lay it flat, it will compress down. Now, this looks like it's not going to fit right, but this is the magic of this packing cube. You literally just 
rip around the edges easily like that. So you could keep it quite thick. I mean, let's have a look at how it looks inside the backpack. Alright, so yeah, it is quite thick for the backpack, which is why I love the compression factor. I mean, as you can see, this is quite squishy, so it's not actually going to be too hard to compress. So there is a smaller zip just around here that you zip all the way around. You can kind of push it down if you want as well to kind of help it compress easier. Push that last little bit in and perfect. It is all compressed. So that was relatively easy. Just lift up the butt of the bag. And it just fits perfectly in there. Now, usually I would actually take another packing cube for underwear and socks and bras. Because this bag has a secret pocket in this, like, flat here, I'm actually going to put all of my underwear and socks just, like, flat in there and just leave extra space at the top. So here I have nine pairs of underwear. I always bring just more than a week. You know, you never know when... You might just need a spare pair. And because I'm going to be in hot weather and I am bringing two pairs of sandals, I don't imagine I will actually be wearing sneakers a lot, but I am bringing one pair of sneakers. So I'm bringing four pairs of socks. One of these I will wear on the plane. So basically three pairs of socks that go into the bag. Really just gonna spread these out so they kind of just all lay nice and flat. All right. That is my socks and underwear pack, and I feel like it doesn't really take up a large amount of extra space. So the last one of clothing is accessories. So I've got three different pairs of shoes here. We've just got some kind of black, nice little sandal slide. Then I got my Birkenstock EVAs. These are personally my favorite shoes for traveling um, in hot weather, just because they're super comfortable and super lightweight and waterproof. So they're just a great all rounder. These are my beloved Reebok Club C85s. They're very well loved, but I didn't want to bring a brand new pair of sneakers because I feel like they'll just get dirty. So it's better to bring an older pair anyway. So these ones can probably slide into the side of the bag very easily. These ones I'm hoping to strap to the outside of the bag, but we will see how that goes. And then I will wear my sneakers on the plane. Then of course, a little bucket hat, which will probably just lay flat because it's flat. So let's get onto the toiletries. This, like I said at the beginning of the video, is the air dock kit and its organization is elite. So the air dock kit has two main compartments and one side pocket. So this is kind of the biggest main compartment here. We've got some mesh pockets on the side and then we've also got some elasticated straps on this side and then just a bit of extra space in the middle. Just note that this compartment opens three quarters because there is this little like slot on this side where they encourage you to like prop your toothpaste up when you're in your accommodation. So as you can see here, I've got some moisturizer. This is a sunscreen stick. This is some deodorant. Got a little hair oil as well. This is ointment for my eczema. Then I've got a toothbrush, some dry shampoo mist, and some eye cream. Then this is where I keep my shampoo and conditioner bars. And the one thing I have forgot to put in there is my little makeup sponge. So I kind of like to separate my toiletries in the main compartment and then have like more of my makeup stuff in this other side here. So this one does open up all the way like this, which is quite handy, but you can also just kind of keep the side half zipped up so it doesn't all fall out. Um, this is my makeup remover, it's called a face halo. It requires only water, which is great. Then just got some makeup brushes, which have already put marks on my case, but you know, that's the price of being a girl. Bit of a mascara. This compartment, we've got some cotton buds and like flossing things. There's some antihistamines. Got some brow gel and concealer and a little bit of cream bronzer. So personally, I do very minimal makeup and when I'm on holiday, I do even more minimal makeup because 
especially if you're in a hot country you're just gonna sweat it off anyway then in this last little compartment here there is a small pocket on one of the sides here which is meant for like your trimmer if you're a guy but I keep my little Venus snap razor in there and I've also got some nail clippers as well as a little spray perfume I want to keep this out of the other things just in case it leaks and also have some tweezers in there as well and that fits perfectly like that of course when you go on the plane yes you will have to take the liquids out and put them in a liquids bag if you didn't know that welcome to airport security all right so i'm going to pop that in just at the top here above my packing cube i don't know if it's better to go flat like that or i think that's all right so like i said the shoes are going to fit on the side here you know what? i'm actually just going to pop them like this these are brand new yes you can put chow caps around your shoes then like i said this hat is just going to fit flat i actually might just pop it underneath the packing cube just for convenience like so and the last thing that i will put in the main compartment is actually a travel towel now i know a lot of people rave about microfiber towels personally not for me i am a turkish towel kind of girl so they're just a lot nicer than a microfiber towel to use but they still pack up quite small and they also are nicer feeling they still dry quick all the good stuff and literally just gonna pop that on top just like that boom bam boom easy peasy lemon squeezy <laughs> Perfect, so that is the main compartment done. All right, it's time for tech. So the Air Travel Pack 3 has a great laptop compartment with its own tech pouch. So you don't even need to bring your own separate tech pouch. So first I've got the laptop, which goes in the main like slot in there. You can kind of see. Then we've got this little, this little secret pouch, which you can put all your cords in. So laptop charger. Then I also have an iPhone charger. Also quite easy access if you need to use your iPhone charger on the go. I have a USB-C dock, a hard drive, and the cable for the hard drive. And then one little USB-C charger which I use to charge my portable charger. Perfect. So that's all locked and loaded. Zip up this laptop compartment. Then there's also a front panel which has a ridiculous amount of organisation. Opens up like this. All these little slippy sloppy bits. It's so good. So in here I'm just going to put a notebook. Maybe we'll pop you in there. And I also have just a few pens because I just like to always make sure I've got something to write with in case I just need to jot down an idea. So the other thing that this front panel is great for would be some first aid. So I don't bring it too much on my trip, I really try to keep it minimal. But I've just got some band-aids here, so I'll pop those in one of the sides. Then I do have a nut allergy and I am going to Thailand, so I am bringing a bunch of antihistamines as well as some paracetamol. Pop those in this side here. They always make the most horrible sound these packets. That's it, zipper up. <laughs> Now my last essential in this bag is of course a water bottle and make sure you just bring one that is empty. This is their water bottle pocket. It like unzips then it's got a gusseted mesh kind of part inside and my bottle, water bottle is relatively small. So I'm just adding a carabiner up here so that I can just extra secure it just in case it falls out. And that is everything in the main bag. I'm quickly gonna run through what I put in my essentials bag. In addition to a main backpack, I do always like to take a smaller bag. Even though the Air Travel Pack 3 has some amazing like quick access pockets and ones that are quite hidden as well, so you can keep your valuables in there. But I just, I like having it in front of me personally. So, I just want to show you a couple of different examples of some bags that I have used in the past and would recommend. So, this is what I will be taking on this trip. This is a Uniqlo um, bum bag. It went viral on TikTok. If you have not heard of it, it's, it's a pretty good bag. Then, this is the Packed Anywhere 5 litre sling. This is great if you've got more to carry. If you're traveling with family or whoever and you just need more like essentials in your bag then this is it this is like a crossbody one as well 
Then if you want to be a little bit more minimalist, but a little bit more, you know, I don't know, posh, you can take something just like a small crossbody bag. This works fine, especially if you're just putting like your phone, your wallet, your passport, nothing too crazy in there. Now your essentials totally depend on you, but personally I always like to include obviously your wallet, passport, need that. Um, I always bring a scrunchie because I like tie my hair up sometimes. Some wet wipes are always great, especially when you're traveling, things can be just kind of gross. I have my keys because I will be leaving my home. Then some other things that I've already mentioned that will go in this bag is my portable charger and my uh, travel adapter just because it's bulky. Then I've also got some sunglasses, of course AirPods, music, everything, listening to a podcast on the plane, great. Because I will be going overnight, eye mask and earplugs are elite just to help you get a better night's sleep. This one is really nice and soft. And I also have some peppermint oil here. This is great on the plane when you get like a blocked nose because it kind of just, yeah, it really just opens up your sinuses. You will have to put this in your liquids bag if you take it. So I just basically popped most of that in here pretty willy nilly. There's not too much organization inside this bag except for a couple of slip pockets which I will use for the smaller items. So that's everything. Then zip it up, throw it over. And then throw my backpack on and you're ready to go. Let me know in the comments where you're headed on your next trip and what you think of the Air Travel Pack 3. I hope you found this video useful. There are details of everything else I've mentioned in the video in the description below. And if you purchase using one of those links, it goes a long way to supporting the work that we do on this channel, so we appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. I'm Kate from Rush Faster and as always, remember, pack smarter, not harder.